Hi, this is Scott, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the ENTP description according to Myers-Briggs personality typing. Alright, for the ENTP, to understand them, first you're going to need to know their four main functions. And for the ENTP, their first function is extroverted intuition, or NE, and basically this is how they perceive the world. They kind of can take in multiple different possibilities. They're very um, kind of objective about how they view things and uh, like to see stuff from uh, everyone, everyone's point of view. And um, this can help them really like see the big picture and kind of make connections that other people might not be able to uh, comprehend uh, as quickly. And uh, so yeah, that's extroverted intuition. That also kind of gives them like a little bit of a, you know, offbeat, off the wall sense of humor. Uh, yeah. So that's that. And next is introverted thinking or TI, and that's basically um, this is more internal, and this is uh, how they deal with stuff. It's logically, and they want stuff to make sense. So um, they constantly are like sorting out their environment and kind of you know figuring out what what. Uh, what makes sense and piecing it all together and kind of forming like a web or a framework in their head of how everything works and since this is introverted it's a little difficult for them to explain to other people so um, while they they form all this little logical map in their head it, it might be difficult to explain to other people so um, so yeah that's that's uh, introverted thinking and uh, their third function is extroverted feeling or FE. Now this is developed a little bit later in the ENTP's life and um, it's it's deals with uh, emotions and empathy and understanding other people and uh, a as they get older they kind of become better at you know um, uh, understanding these uh, you know emotions of other people so uh, you know that could uh, go go a long way with just uh kind of developing like a charismatic personality also and you know kind of knowing the right things to say and what to do to uh get the reaction that they want out of people so yeah that's extroverted feeling and their fourth function is introverted sensing or SI and now this is um something that's never really completely developed in the ENTP or or should I say it's it never becomes a strength for an ENTP but they do have it and um it, basically what it is is um it it deals with the past and remembering things and uh you know just kind of routine and uh just norms in society and everything like that just kind of understanding how how things work and how how things have always been in that way but they, you can see that this kind of conflicts with them always wanting to try something new and if this keeps popping up I swear I'm gonna flip alright so it 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 wants to deal with uh, yeah you know they always want to see something new so it kinda gets thrown off um, by uh, routine so so those two are kinda at conflict with each other at times and uh, introverted sensing can show up a bit more when they are stressed out and I'll talk about that a little bit later alright and we'll go on to the ENTP strengths alright so one of the strengths of the ENTP is that they're very enthusiastic and energetic and they can also be charismatic and uh, have a magnetic type personality so uh, you know they could uh, they could be a good leader in this way and kinda you know um, for you know uh, go about uh, promoting change and stuff like that so yeah and they're also very interested in self-improvement and constantly you know getting better they're not really satisfied with uh, staying staying stagnant and staying the way they are so they're always trying to find ways to to make themselves uh, a better person and grow okay anyways they're also great at understanding the big picture they can understand you know um, understand maybe difficult concepts that other people have uh, trouble grasping and they can kind of you know just just um uh, pick pick up on that pretty easily and it, it's it just comes naturally to them yeah so while uh, every type has their strengths obviously they also have some weaknesses and a uh, couple weaknesses of the ENTP is that um, while they're constantly seeking change could be a good thing it could also cause um, problems with relationships you know they could uh, get bored of a relationship and want to move on to something new or you know um, a friend that 
uh, is no longer helping them, you know, grow as a person or um, no longer of interest to them, they could kind of, you know, just brush them aside and kind of, you know, cause the relationship to to uh, deteriorate a little bit. Yeah. So um, they also can give up on a project once they lose enthusiasm for it. So, you know, something's going really well and uh, it's about to be complete and, you know, uh, but the ENTP could have a problem uh, keeping keeping focused on that and keeping their attention on that and it could cause them to lose their enthusiasm and move on to something new right before they right before they finish something which uh, obviously can cause some problems um, ENTPs are known also to sometimes take unnecessary risks including uh, financial ones just for the fact that you know they could possibly get bored and you know maybe become overconfident with the situation and want to take take bigger risks um, yeah but sometimes that can backfire on them and uh, the the ENTPs like to debate and question everything and uh, they kind of do this in fun and just to figure out the world but um, with while they're doing this with others it could seem like uh, arguing or kind of you know being being argumentative or you know accusing somebody of something when they're just really trying to figure something out so that could cause some some problems in in relationships or dealing with other people and also for an ENTP when they are under stress um, their shadow functions can come out which is that introverted sensing that I talked about and it, um, can cause them to become overwhelmed by unimportant details you know um, they could just see uh, they're more of a big picture thinker and then w they could get bogged down by details and just those those you know specific details surrounding them that they need to you know get done or um, take care of they could just kind of overwhelm them and not make them you know kind of shut down and just feel like um, you know they can't be their best at wanting to deal deal with the big picture when they have to deal with day-to-day -day tasks so that's something to look out for with the ENTP and they can also become very sensitive to criticism they could um when they're stressed out it may become uncharacteristic of them to you know be very respond very emotionally to situations and you know kind of get upset about that and also um, the ENTP when it's stress can do things to excess whether it's drinking overeating you know exercising or any anything that uh, you know just a repetitive task or, or uh, behavior that you know might not be healthy but uh, just when they're under stress it could be a hard habit to uh, break so yeah it's the ENTP and uh, also I have some uh, free reports on the ENTP growth as well as jobs and careers for ENTPs so uh, yeah I'd encourage you to go ahead and visit uh, personalitygrowth.com slash ENTP and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you more about that and uh, also if you like this video I, I'd ask that you please like it and uh, subscribe to this page because I'll be making a bunch of new videos in the future and um, also if you got any questions or anything just go ahead and uh, post in the comments below I'll, I'll try and answer those also um, if it's a good enough question or uh, <laughs> not a good enough question I mean like if it's if it's a significant one that I c if quite a few people are asking I'll, I'll, I'll probably make a video on that also so um, yeah so uh, yeah, just looking forward to hearing from you. All right.